Jersey, Jersey, what are those called? Jersey ones? Barriers. Jersey barriers that you can borrow to put up there if you need to. Well, you know, they could fall The bottom line is how much is a child's life worth? That's it. Exactly. Yes. Right. How about some Let's send these kids ride a bus on Coleman Road. See how she would like it. Dan, we need to look at this and see what we can do. I think we need the board's yep. authorization on that to get some emergency repairs. Exactly. How would Susan Township like to be sued when someone goes off the side of that road? Okay, thank you. We're We're trying to address this right up now. and down that road. I have driven up and down that road. When somebody's car goes off the edge of the road and Cecil Township should be sued. Get the money and fix the road. Yes. repairs we're talking about that's what we need to look into the property owner who owns the property frontage across from that current slip here yeah. do you own all the frontage that, that would encompass that area directly across yes Dan, have you looked at this i just was up there tonight i just looked at the slide yes. how much do you what, what is your name sir jerry orban jerry what orban orban at 435 right there if that's a workable solution to move the road over, whether it's temporary or not, would you have any objection to what working with Dan and our solicitor to get him give it a right away? Because I think that needs to be done real quick. Real quick. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. Yeah, there is a gas Columbia gas line worker. I saw what Don's talking about. What's your address here? 435. That doesn't mean it can't be under the road. It doesn't necessarily automatic location. That's where he lives at right there on a the picture. If you look. <laughs> hey, Todd, uh, uh, let me just uh, interject something here. Even uh, moving that road over, we still have to uh, stop with with uh, stop what's going on with that embankment right now. That's a continued scour of that embankment. That stream is scouring the base of the embankment, and it's going to chase that road. Even if we move that road over, unless we stem that scour uh, from taking any more of the uh, uh, embankment, it's going to chase us across the road. Um, it's currently uh, undercut. There's an overburden with a tree sitting on it right across from Jerry's house that's in danger of also coming down right now. It, it's a, it's a rock ledge that sits on a, uh, a shale coal seam. And uh, the water is currently scouring that coal seam out of there. I think this picture kind of shows my that. Father, my father offered years ago to allow you to put a pipe in and fill that. Years ago, to take care of that. And I'm sure that that would help with the undercutting today. Yeah, we'd have to, we, in order to enclose that stream, we'd have to go to the DEP. It's a long process. And very few of those enclosures are, are, are very favorable when they roll. So the uh, DEP will want a macro vertebrae study. And um, I've been before them before with a simple request to, uh, to buttress the hillside, put 100 feet of pipe in, six foot diameter pipe, and was, uh, it was turned down. So uh, they're, they're tough to deal with. But Bill, I think what we need to address is the two things here. To be able to move the road over temporarily, which you agreed to help us with, and then to stop the erosion on that hillside right there. So those those are the things that immediately need to be done. How about some more six in there? <laughs> How about what? How about some more six? Well, I would use uh, an R8 rock as a, as a base for a, a tow bench in there. Uh, that would work to, to start your tow bench. But first, uh, and, and the other thing would be the R8 the R rock would act as a scour protection. You'd have to lay that in there probably five or six feet deep and have it interlocked and then use a slush grout to lock it into place. And then you can start constructing your tow bench up on top of that to restore the embankment. So. But there's a cost. We'd have to figure out, you know, the volume and all that stuff. Well, I don't see how we, we have to get it done. 
So uh, do we have Question. any authorization to go move forward? Before with this? we do that, before we vote on it, is this whatever we're going to do in your to the to the overall project benefit? We're going to address it in the way we're going to address it in the way that Tom articulated about moving the road over. We're going to do that here, so it would be it would be in in concert with the plan. Okay. There's a gas line only a few feet off the road there. Yeah, uh, Frank, there's always details. We know that. We'll have to get out and meet with the gas company and do the, do the normal stuff. Oh, yeah. right 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 I just wanted to. Okay, go ahead, Mike. Picking back on what Tom and, and, and Dan, I know you were involved in, even when the storage plant went in, it seems like there's never enough money to do the project correctly unless you actually put a financing plan together and maybe do everything. My, my first question is if you do this right, how long does the road last? before there's any major uh, maintenance required? I would say typically in this type of a road, you, you built what I was describing to build before, is you build the road as a structure, and then and then fixing the pavement over time, just to build an overlay is more like painting the road again. Or just, so you, you're probably going to get eight to 10 years out of it before you have to do another overlay on it, but it's not going to be as expensive as you did the first time. It's just going to be the my, top. My point it. is, I mean, you, you're trying to finance all this with current money because, and, and the fact is you don't have enough. So at the point, if you were to put a plan together, and you get eight to 10 years to finance, so that million or two that you got on an annual basis, and you might be able to, 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 to have enough money to do the number of roads that you need to fix and get the eight to 10 years up. I mean, everything seems to be a- Mike, you're, you're saying borrowing. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. In a nutshell, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, governments, I mean, every household... But my point is, borrow for a house. isn't there a limitation on the number of years that you can borrow for a road? Mm -hmm. no, most most roads you can get 20, do a 20 year bond. Yeah, I mean, so you, you, you can actually solve some of your problems and, and fix the roads that you have. And if you've got eight-year life and you can turn those bonds over, I mean, we're, we're talking about an eight-year plan to get the roads up to snuff. Because I've got to tell you, they've been chasing this for years. Last year, our supervisors refused to borrow money for the road. I understand, but I mean, they also refused for 20 years to borrow money for the sewer plant. Right. And that's the only way they're going to do it. And, and Dan, you know that. Oh, I do. Sure. I mean, so to me, it appears to be a financing issue. And, and I mean, what are the bonds worth now? What, what can you borrow from the state for? I believe it's pretty cheap. you got to be cheap. I don't know exactly what the rate is, but it is an expensive year rate. Now. I mean, you got to. If I was going to do it, I would do it now, because you know, in ten years, you don't know what the rate's going to be. But the point is, if you got, if you're telling me you got two million dollars to spend a year for the next eight years, I got to tell you, that's going to borrow a lot of money, and, and and you won't, and it'll financially work out. I think you need to have some finance people tell you how to do this. I think maybe you are too. Better than I did. Um, I mean, that's crazy issue. I think that maybe we need to fix the immediate problem that we have right now and put together a plan where we can address Coleman Road, but also potentially address Han Road and get ourselves well, my, to a point where we're not. My question is going to be how much, how much have you estimated to do the, the roads you were talking about? What's yeah. it take to fix them? Yeah. We have 500,000 left over. No, I meant, I meant to fix them the right way. And no offense, you charge every every development that comes into town has to build that road to the spec that Cecil Township has never met. <laughs> so, so at the end of the day, that's the spec that I think you ought to be using. And what would it cost to do the road that you need? Everyone. Well, this was rejected a number of years ago because I think the cost was $20,000. Twenty thousand dollars uh, just to prepare. And Dan, you're going to have to help me with this. I can't remember what it was called. A developer's agreement or, or any that developer. Was, that was the impact fee. That was the impact, impact fee. fee for developers. Yeah. And we've never adopted an impact fee for them. Is that correct? We've never. Well, listen, you're talking about doing this over. If it's a ten-year period. That's no, I'm telling you about what's happened in the past. I understand, but I mean, we the, could, the issue is you can fix these 
right. and, and, and remove the problem. Right. And if we spent twenty thousand dollars, we don't have an impact. Two million dollars a year, you're not going to fix it much. No, I know that. I, I've struggled to get a million dollars a year and fought to get the million dollars a year for the roads. And, and, and impact fee would put the burden on any future developers. Impact fee. What's an, what's an impact fee? I didn't get that. That's the gas and oil impact fee. No, 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 no. Dan, explain. <laughs> The impact fee uh, was was discussed a few years back related to the major intersections that we have in the township. The concern was that there would be development up on roads like Coleman Road due to the, storm, the sanitary sewer system coming in. There would be push for development and then roads would be overburdened by those developments and the developers would have no responsibility to pay any improvement costs. And so let me interject. If you're talking about another fee to get development to come into town, I, I, I totally disagree with I mean, in, in the first place, the township has never uh, funded a, a, the, the, the method to get people come, to come in and develop areas that would provide more taxes. I mean, at this point, uh, just like you, you spent money on the sewer plant, now, now there's developers a reason, gives them a reason to come in and use it. Or expand it. Sure. Right now, there's been other than patchwork on an annual basis that doesn't go anywhere. Right. It, it doesn't provide that uh, incentive. What I'm saying is, if you were to finance this and look at a bond cost and get it done, I think the development of those areas by, by themselves would, would provide enough uh, tax base and, and, and income without. I, I, mean, I, don't agree, I, don't, I don't agree with you there, but I believe, I've seen it. How much more are you going to burden the development for? You just want to chase I'm them away? I'm not into burden and development. I'm just telling you that major areas like Cranberry have been very successfully adopted, adopted impact fees to, to get all of their roads improved over time. It doesn't happen in one day. But if development does start to occur, it's helpful to have it. <laughs> Dan, but, but you're going to compare us to Cranberry? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you're going to be kidding. Let's, let's back up, though. I don't think, I think, Elizabeth, I think we're, we're confusing things here. We don't even have a plan in the township for all the roads. So the first thing you need is a plan for all the roads, what it's going to cost to upgrade them, and then you prioritize those roads and what are they going to cost, and, and over time, and as you're saying, you put a financing plan together. That's, that's all I'm saying. That means that's because throwing a million bucks at something that take, it's going to take 20 million, you'll never catch up. Yeah, right. Thank you. Dan, getting back to the immediate fix, obviously, 